أنا مصباح بروفيسور في الأستاتريكس أند جينيكولوجي فاكالتي أوف ميديسين منصور أي فيرس. Today I wanna to discuss with you how to do swab for infection and how to do cervical smear for cytology. Okay? Okay. What we wanna uh, to have before the procedure. I wanna to have the casca speculum like that. Okay? I wanna to ask the patient for certain precautions before she is coming for a swab, like no intercourse in the previous three days, no vaginal douche in the previous three days, no intravaginal suppository uh, antifungal or antibiotics and so on. So she's ready right now, like this case in uh, my southern position, and I will do speculum examination. Then. As you know, I insert the cascus speculum in this direction, and within the half of the cascus, then I rotate 90 degree, then I complete the insertion. After that, I open the plate of the speculum like that, till I see the horseshoe in front of me. Okay? Mm. Now I'm going, I'm seeing the, this part, which is the ectocervix, okay? Then I have cotton tip the swab. I take the swab from the external os like that. I rotate 360 degree. Then I withdraw the swab like that. Then I insert it without touching anything inside the tube and I send it for lab for examination under microscope and for culture and sensitivity test, okay? This is the cotton tip the swab for infection. Another way is to take another swab from the posterior fornix, posterior to the cervix. This part is called posterior fornix. Here is the anterior fornix, here is lateral fornix, and here is the posterior fornix. Again, we rotate 360 degree, then withdraw the cotton tip the swab, then insert it inside the tube and send for the lab. This is as regard swab for infection, and I do that if there is any discharge in sexual transmitted disease and so on. What about smear, cervical smear for cytology as regard for screening for cervical carcinoma or CIM? So I wanted to diagnose the CIM early so I can manage it properly, and this is one of the important screening program all over the world. Okay, again, the same precautions as before. No vaginal dosh in the previous days, no intercourse, no vaginal suppository, broad spectrum antibiotic or antifungal. Then I insert the speculum. I can see right now the cervix. This part appear in front of me. Okay, I fix the speculum in this area. Then I use cytobrush. This tool is called cytobrush. I insert it in the external os like that, then rotate 360 degree, okay, or another 360 degree, then remove it without touching anything, then spread on the slide like that, you spread on the slide like that, then fix with a spray like that, then send for the lab for baptism, okay? This is another way for cervical smearing is to put it inside saline bottle mm -hmm. and send also to the lab for cytological diagnosis, okay? So either on a slide mm -hmm. and fix it with the spray or put it inside saline in a bottle containing saline and close it and send it for the lab. This is the use of cyto brush. Another cyto brush, but not available right now. The head is very small and round, and you can insert it inside the endocervix and rotate it also 360 degree and the same as before and send to the lab. This is the end of uh, my discussion about cotton swab for infection and cervical smear with cytobrush
for CIM. Thank you. على مصباح بروفيسور في اوستيتكس اند جينيكولوجي فاكولتي اوف ميديسن من سوريا يونيفرستي. ليت اس سي سام انسترومنتس هير يوزن اوبي جاي. ذيس از ذا هيجر دايليتور فروم سمول تو لارجر سايز وي كان يوز ات تو دايليت ذا سيرفكس ان كيس اوف سرفايفل سينوزس بيفور سيرجيكال بروسيدرز ان جينيكولوجي اند اوستيتكس فور دوينج ذا اند سي دايليتيشن ديكورتاج اند تيكينج اندوميتريال بايوبسي فور Evacuation of the uterine content in case of missed abortion, so I need to dilate the cervix before a procedure like hysteroscopy. I want to dilate the cervix so I can use bigger dilator. It is held like that. Okay, this is called MVA or manual vacuum aspiration. It is used to evacuate the uterine content in case of incomplete abortion or missed abortion, also to take endometrial. Sample. This is multiple tools tenaculum or volcillum. Use it to hold the anterior lip of the cervix in mini surgical gynecological procedure. Also, this is a single tooth tenaculum or volcillum. As you see, there is single tooth. Use the tool hold the anterior lip of the cervix before IV insertion, before history serpentograph or uterine sounding. This is the uterine sound graded in centimeter. Use it to measure the uterine cavity length. Also to know the position of the uterus, is it AVF or RDF uterus? This is PACOC forceps to hold tissue. This is hysterosalpingogram cannula inserted through the cervical canal and the dye injected through this part through a syringe to evaluate the trunk cavity and the patency of the fluent tube. So this is called hysterosalpingogram metal cannula. This is Novaki rep used to take endometrial biopsy in outpatient clinic. You can see the opening here with serrated edge here. And also you can do suction for the sample of endometry, okay? So this is an open forceps used to evacuate the uterine content in case of incomplete abortion. This is the caco, sorry, this is the crocodile forceps with very short blades used in case of missed reads, in case of ID with missed reads, I can pass through the cervix, cervical canal, inside the uterine cavity to hold the ID and get it out, okay? So in case of missed reads, I use the crocodile, it is very beneficial in that. This is an artery forceps used for hemostasis. In case of spurter, you can Close the artery forceps over the spurter like that for hemostasis, also for holding tissue during surgery. This is the needle holder. We put the needle here for surgical suturing. Okay, very short blade as you see. This is called needle holder. This is curette endometrial. Curet, metal curet, with, with sharp edge here and the plump edge here. It is used to take endometrial biopsy for D and C during D and C. It is used 
for endometrial carriage, also for evacuation of the uterus in case of missed abortion. So it can be used either in gynecology and abnormal uterine bleeding and you want to take endometrial sampling or also in obstetric in case of incomplete abortion you, you want to cure it and evacuate the uterine content. This is self-retaining vaginal speculum called gravis, two blades and handle and two screw. This is called gravis, it is different than casco for being having two screw and also the upper plate is shorter than the lower plate Hawaii in casco speculum both plates are of the same size and there is only one screw in case of casco but this gravis has two screw this the another screw allowing the handle to and the lower plate to get down like that so giving more space when you do opening of the plate you will have more space as you see allowing for to do many gynecologic procedures during suction evacuation of the uterus, during the NC, during any surgery related to the cervix, leap, or uh, cauterization, and so on. We have different sizes of self-retaining vaginal speculum. This is a large size, this is a medium size, and this is a small size. As you see, there is three different sizes of self-retaining metal vaginal speculum gravis. Have a look from nearby. See the old instruments.